mentally and physically. Samara, the French woman, surprise winner of the European 200 meter title in the yellow top. In the second lane, in the second lane there. So, Cherry Ann Blux, fifth in the diamond race in Shanghai, just to give you a little bit of background to her, 11.22 this season, now 30. Samari, well, she ran right up to Alison Felix in the 200 metres in Rome, ran a good bend, and Felix was really found wanting on that occasion, certainly. Samari then, 11.54 this season. Ok Parebo of Norway, Drawn in the third lane, Norwegian record holder, both at 60 metres and 100 metres. Being introduced to the crowd, and she's next to Lalova, the Bulgarian. Lalova, running well actually, ran a good 200 metres, so uh, was third in that 200 in uh, Rome. Behind Ahure and Alison Felix. But uh, certainly uh, uh, the European champion at 100 metres, 11.13 this season. Here's a young woman who last season set uh, two uh, national records at uh, 100 and 200. And she's broken the uh, 200 again here, beating Alison Felix. The first time she's been beaten at 200 metres for a long time. This is uh, Raymenian of uh, the Ukraine. New personal best set this year. And this is uh, Sailor, Verena Sailor, 11.33 this season, goals at two successive European Championships, and Pove right on the outside, uh, the Ukrainian, the European Indoor Champion at uh, 60 metres back in 2011, so an interesting race in prospect, very interesting to see how Ahure goes here, she's in very, very good form indeed, real powerhouse. father is a former chief of staff of the Ivory Coast Army, incidentally, to give you a little bit of background, so moved to Paris at the age of two, then to the United States at the age of 12, and she represents the Ivory Coast now, very, very nice indeed. Ramien, the Ukrainian, European champion at 200 metres last year, 11.06 this season, which is a personal best, so she's going quite well at the moment. Just been waiting to be called forward. So, Brooks, Jamaica, Samari, France, Okprebo, Norway, Lalova, Bulgaria, Ahore, Ivory Coast, Ramien of the Ukraine, Sailor of Germany, and Pove of the Ukraine, drawn in lane eight. The women's 100 meters. No problems with the start at all, and uh, Oparebo got a good start on the inside, and here comes uh, Ahore in the middle, Oparebo going very strongly, and here comes Ahore, and right on the outside, Ramien, oh, and also Lalova, and that was very, very close, and I wonder whether Lalova snatched that on the line, it was very, very close, 11.04, and I think she did. There, Lalova, who had that very good 200 metres, I think she got that, and she does, she's got the flowers, Oparebo ran very, very strongly, uh, in the early stages of this race. Let's just look at it again here. Look at her, third from the right. She was leading at this stage, and Lalova had an awful lot to do here. Um, Ramien on the near side was going strong. Ahore was coming through, and then look at this. That was a lovely finish by Lalova, taking it from the favourite, Muriel Ahore, right on the last stride. She really is in form now as the European champion. Plus 1.2 metres per second, so 11.04. Uh, for Lalova is uh, a season's best by a good margin. She's in four. 
Very, very tight at the line. Look at that. That's the photo finish. 11.04 to 11.05 to 11.07. Lalova, though, takes the win as she's returning to, well, if nothing like her best form, it was back in 2004, some nine or ten years ago, that she ran 10.77 to set a world junior record, the Bulgarian. That was looked at uh, rather sceptically by many, I know, and she's never got back down to those sort of times, but knocking on the door of sub-11 now. 11 and 11.04, season's best. Ahore, 11.05, season's best. And uh, Raimiel, 11.07, in third place.